Hi everybody today i have a really amazing question for you so the question is that if here is a triangle abc now in this triangle extend a line ba to a dash similarly extend a line cb to b dash and finally extend a line ac to c dash now join the points of extended lines so we get this now in this figure if a a dash is equals to a times of a b and b b dash is equals to a times of c b and finally c c dash is equals to a times of a c and here a is a constant then what is the ratio of area of triangle a a dash b b dash c c dash to the area of triangle a b c so please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution Before I just going to present you the solution of this question I just want to promise you that we will solve this amazingly hard question by using only one formula which is area of a triangle using sine function so this formula says if here is a triangle and let this angle be theta and the adjacent sides be a and b now area of this triangle is equals to half times of ab times sine of theta so in this question we will use only this formula for solving this question so here is our figure to don't make it quite complicated i just giving this figure some variables let side ab be x and side length cb be y and side length ac be z now according to the question so a a dash is equals to a times of x and similarly b b dash is equals to a times of y and similarly c c dash is equals to a times of z now join the line a b b dash and b c dash and c a dash now let the uh, triangle a b c be first region and similarly triangle a b b dash be second region and triangle a c a dash be third region and triangle c c dash b be fourth region and similarly we just number this all now let the angle c a b be alpha and angle a c b be beta and similarly let the angle abc be gamma now looking in triangle ab dash c now in this triangle now taken b dash as our angle to find the area of this triangle so area of first plus second region is equals to 1 over 2 times ay plus y times z times sin of beta similarly area of first plus third region by area of triangle by sine function so it is 1 over 2 times ax plus x times y times sine of gamma similarly area of first plus fourth region is equals to 1 over 2 times az plus z times x times sine of alpha now looking in triangle abc now we can find the area of triangle abc in different forms by using sine function first by in alpha and then by observing gamma and then by observing beta so area of first region is equals to 1 over 2 times xz times sin of alpha in this case we consider alpha now considering gamma we get this and now considering beta so we get this now let be our equation first now adding this all the our values of area of triangles that we found so we get this now after adding these all areas the stuff we get will exactly look like this now on lhs side we have three times area of first plus area of second plus area of third plus area of fourth is all is equals to this all stuff and now we already found the value of area of first region in three different terms which is our equation first now looking in rhs side of our equation 
we can write this in this form and now looking on LHS side we have three times area of first plus area of second plus area of third plus area of fourth now we have about this equation first so putting this we get this now we know that these both equations are equal so we can cancel these terms so the final equation we get is area of second plus area of third plus area of fourth is equals to a y z times sine of beta by 2 plus a x y times sine of gamma by 2 plus a z x times sine of alpha by 2 let it be our equation second now looking back in our figure and this time considering fifth and third region so area of third region is equals to 1 over 2 times z times altitude and in this case let it be h similarly area of fifth region is equals to 1 over 2 times a times z times altitude and altitude of fifth and third regions are exactly equal because both lie on same base and both are between same parallel so now looking in these terms these terms are exactly equal to the area of third region so area of fifth is the region is equal to a times area of third region similarly by using this in figure second and sixth we get area of second region is equal to 1 over 2 times x times h and area of sixth region is equal to 1 over 2 times a x times h and we know that both altitudes are equal because both lie on same base and both are between same parallel so area of sixth region is equal to a times area of second region similarly doing this in figure third and fifth we get area of fifth region is equal to a times area of third region and similarly doing this in figure fourth and seventh we get area of seventh region is equal to a times area of fourth region now looking back in our equation second so this is our equation second and we pre-found that area of six is equal to area of second region and similarly these all stuffs now adding area of six plus fifth plus seventh region which is exactly equals to a times area of second plus third plus fourth region now in our equation second multiplying both sides by a so we get a times area of second plus third plus fourth region is equals to this all stuff now a times area of second plus third plus fourth is exactly equal to area of six plus area of fifth plus area of seventh region so we get area of six plus seven plus fifth region is equals to a square times y z times sine of beta by two plus x y times sine of gamma by two plus x z times sine of alpha by two now let it be our equation third and also remembering our equation first which is this now we have all three equations that we need to find our final answer now we have to find the ratio of area of triangle a dash b dash c dash to the area of triangle a b c now area of triangle a dash b dash c dash is equals to area of all the regions in triangle a dash b dash c dash which is this by area of triangle a b c which is area of first region now looking at this area of second plus third plus fourth region is our equation second and area of fifth plus sixth plus seventh region is our equation third and we can taken out this area of first region out because our denominator is also equals to area of first region now remembering our second and third equation which is this so after putting that we get this all stuff now multiplying numerator and denominator by 3 so we get this we can write our denominator as area of first plus area of first and area of first region so we get this now use the three different values of area of first region which is our equation first and after putting and implementing them so we get this now looking in our these terms of the equation in denominator and numerator side these terms are exactly common 
so by taking this term common in numerator we get 3a plus 3a square times y z times sine of beta by 2 plus xy times sine of gamma by 2 plus xz times sine of alpha by 2 whole divided by xz times sine of alpha by 2 xy times sine of gamma by 2 plus yz times sine of beta by 2 plus 1 now these terms in numerator and denominator are exactly equal so we can cancel them so the final answer we get is 3a square plus 3a plus 1 and that is our correct answer so ratio of area of triangle a dash b dash c dash to the area of triangle a b c is exactly equal to 3a square plus 3a plus 1 and some of you might already was this question in my previous videos but i wanted to recreate this because of some reasons and the first is that i want to make it in more easier way to understandable 